Fellow Warriors, how's going? This is Kessin and welcome back to another episode of Single Basara 2. Okay, almost done with the game. Uh, we will go finally with one of the best wife on the game, which is Matsu Toshia's wife. Right, let's go. お腹を空かせた刑事にルスを任せ。お腹を空かせたままの年家を連れて最高の食材探しの旅へ出かけた松。まずは究極の米を求め、北の地を訪れたのであった。お米は日本人の心にござりまする。米をいただきます。Okay, uh, right, so we have, um, we, as you can see guys, Matsu's story is, a, is basically a joke. <laughs> With, let's, let's do, okay, uh, here's a rule that I need to, to give myself for this let's play of Matsu. Don't be serious. I can't get serious, okay? I can't, by any chance. If I get serious, slap me, slap me right away. <laughs> oh god. Um, no, nah, we will go. We won't go for the armor. We will go for uh, for a weapon. Let's go buy this. Yeah, uh, the story, uh, the, the cutscene don't. Oh, looks cool. The cutscene don't have voice lines. They're like, um, how can I say? Um, those uh, old school, very very old school uh, cartoons with no voices, like in the 30s. On the 20s, where they have, where there were where cartoons with no voice. With no voice, basically. Uh, those old uh, Disney cartoons, basically, with, no, with Mickey Mouse, with they, they, they had no voice, basically. And yeah. It was, it's basically like those, the, the cutscene. I do remember it, it's actually like this. Uh, I think he's also the same in Bastard 1. It is pretty funny. <laughs> so like I said, uh, Ariston is just a joke. Don't take it serious. Man, I freaking love Matsu in this game, really. It's just uh, sad that she didn't make an appearance in some of the orders yet. Why? Why you don't make Matsu appear in some of the orders? Come on. She's, she's one of the best girls ever in Basara. She's the wife of one of my very favorite characters. And she was very, very important for Toshi, eh? As well. <laughs> and during the period of Sigigahara, she also had a great importance as well. She, she, she was a nostalgia of Yeas, if you didn't know, during Sigigahara. And her son, uh, one of her sons was forced to serve Yeasu Due to, to her being a nostalgia. Well, the other son was serving Mitsunari in the Western Army. So yeah, they might have brought us for each other, basically. Kinda sad. <laughs> that was very sad, really, how Matsu was hostage of Yeyasu, honestly. Because then her sons, her and Toshio's son had to, they fought each other. Sigigahara, because one of them did not join Yeah, so the other did. Not the other, like, completely rebelled against Yeasu. I hear really. Even to that will put Matsu in danger, but they still had uh, his other son but, uh, hostage, so... Because the other son was serving Yeasu. 
still she was still put in danger though because their other song was serving Mitsunari so she was in trouble still Matsu glad she nothing happened to her yeah Asu was not that cruel to kill her because her other son, because of her other son's foolishness to serve uh, Mitsunari I say foolishness because do your mom is an hostage don't don't go to don't go to Mitsunari cause something bad might happen to her so uh, you have no choice but to serve your ass dude because Matsu's hostage don't let anything happen to her for the sake of your mother dude don't go to Mitsunari but uh, being a hostage, really, taking uh, hostages uh, during that time was extremely common. It was basically uh, the trade of the day. Uh, taking hostages. Everybody was an hostage. Nah, sorry, I'm gonna skip this. It's too cringe. Sorry. Too cringe. Yeah, like uh, being hostages during that period was very, very common. It was, uh, basically, how, how did it work? Um, to to swear allegiance or uh, be true to your word, you ought you had to send a hostage to to the other party. Let's make an example. Um, so. Let's say this. Uh, now, I'm making a very stupid example, so don't take notice how stupid this example is. Um, I'm buying an house, okay? And uh, you promised... Um, okay, so I'm buying, I'm, buying, I'm buying your house. However, you are going away on a journey for quite a while, and I don't know when you ever get back. So... What's gonna, what's gonna make me believe that you will come back from this journey and you will sell this house to me and not just run away forever and maybe sell it to somebody else? You will send me your host, an hostage. Let's say you gave me your sister or your mom. Uh, you gave me your sister or your, or your mom as an hostage, basically. And I will keep your sister or your mom uh, as an hostage until you get back. And, and I will keep this hostage until you sold me the house. Once you sold me this house, you will get back your sister or your mom. <laughs> I know, this was probably the dumbest example ever. I don't even know why I'm explaining this, this hostage thing to you. You probably know already. Uh, don't mind me. Don't mind me, honestly. <laughs> I know, it's dumb. It was probably the dumbest example I could use, but I warned you. I warned you I will use a dumb example. So, and yeah, this is basically how daimyo were, um, were doing things back in the day. To swear allegiance, to make sure uh, they will not get betrayed. Because of course, if you, uh, if, if you betray me, I'll have to kill your mom and your sister. <laughs> that was basically how the hostage thing worked. But obviously, you'll never get betrayed. In most cases... They will never uh, break the path because they had very important relatives as hostages. They will send important people, important re relatives as hostages, like dear ones, very important dear ones, like wives, children, sisters, like very important ones. <laughs> like even Yukimura was an hostage, was an hostage of the Uesugi for, uh, for a period. He was an hostage of Karikatsu. <laughs> So yeah, yeah. When Masaki kept uh, swapping allegiance non-stop, like he was, um, Yukimura was sent as an hostage to the US again. Or when uh, Kenshin adopted um, uh, Kagetora, was Saburo, Saburo Hojo, Hojo Saburo. Then renamed Kagetora. He basically gave uh, his old name. Kagetora is Kenshin's old name. He basically gave gave him his old name, and uh, but he treated him like a son. So yeah, in some cases, hostages were treated like a proper family. They were very loved. Like 
in K K uh, Kenshin, is, Kenshin is a big example. For, is a, is a is an example in fact. Uh, Kenshin, how he adopted Kagetora as his own son, but he adopted Ojo Sabra as his own son and gave and gave him his old name, Kagetora. We got some rice. Good. So yeah, Matsu like says she's going around uh, gathering ingredients. That's basically her story. That's why I say don't take it serious because she's just going around uh, collecting ingredients. Now what's the next ingredient? <laughs> めでたく松。松竹。松竹天国。Uh, I'm not sure what's the, the next ingredient. Maybe sake? I, I'm, I'm assuming it's sake, maybe. <laughs> Could be wrong though. I don't know what ingredient we're going to collect uh, from K from Kenshin's field. Oh, the pig. Yeah, we basically let this pig here. <laughs> it's, it's a full skill. Let's equip it, why not? Uh, we also obtained a new weapon, but it's not good. Yeah, this one is the best. See, she also got wind, wind element, but I don't know uh, what exactly does the, the the wind element. I could never understand that. I really, I could, literally could never understand the, this wind element thing in, in Basara too. Bah. I don't, I don't think I ever will. <laughs> Let's be real. Let's be fucking real. No idea. What does he do? Sex. <laughs> That's the card to the nutshell. I uh, bet now Kazuga will get jealous of Matsu and Toshia, right? That's what she's like. Um, how much you bet? And now she she will get jealous. I bet everything sh she will get jealous. <laughs> God, I can't wait to see this. I really can't wait. It's a clone. Let's get rid of the Kazuga clone. See, he's like a piggy. <laughs> Is it Poggy from Monster Hunter? He looks like Poggy, guys. He looks like Poggy from Monster Hunter. I don't know if you guys know Poggy. It's like this little pig mascot in Monster that you can find in Monster Hunter. It's called Poggy. It looks poggy to me, bro. Bro, that looks poggy. But it's, it's not exactly poggy. It looks like him, but... Not sure if it's supposed to represent poggy. It's a guinea pig. It's not like a pig. It's like a guinea pig. Yeah, it looks like a guinea pig to me. Not like a proper pig. Could be wrong. Maybe my knowledge of animals is not very good, or uh, it's just, uh, like... Uh, the it doesn't look good enough, uh, this animal, that I can't tell what what it is. But to me, it looks like a guinea pig. Okay, you know what? Let's go with guinea pig. <laughs> this is why I say don't take Matsu serious. But she got a nice booty, though. We will take that serious. Her booty needs to be taken serious. That's the only thing that we need to take serious. Her booty. <laughs> he, can, he can actually uh, bounce on a wall. <laughs> That's fucking cute. Oh, that's fucking cute. How can we get rid of the skill? See, he got bones on the wall. Oh, that's fucking cute. Uh, holy shit. I think he's infinite, you know, until he bounces on the wall. I'm not sure, though. 
He looks infinite. It's, yeah, he's, see, he's infinite. Not till he puts us on the wall. Oh, that's fucking cute. This kills, this is probably the cutest kills I've ever seen uh, in Basara. How can you not love this kill, really? <laughs> Come on. He literally is infinite, but until he, he, he puts us on the wall, he starts. Oh, that's fucking cute. See? See, look, isn't he? Oh, no. He's not infinite. Oh. All right, I thought it was infinite, but it's still cute when uh, when he bounces on the wall. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, he disappear. Okay. <laughs> well. She got a nice muscle. She got those like a four Okami, uh, wolves. They're wolves, yeah. There's four wolves, uh, making attacks. It's awesome, really. How she basically got Okami. See, the Matsu's is another reference, uh, from another Capcom game, which I think is probably Okami. Actually, no, I don't think so, because Okami. No, I think Okami came out uh, during Basara. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. I'm pretty sure Okami came out. Uh, during the period of Basara. I never played that game. Need to play it. It, it really has a beautiful missile. I'm glad they made Matsu so fun to use a uh, bit. In Basara 1, even though she was playable, she was a clone of Kenshin, and she ba she, was, she basically worked exactly like Kenshin. She had most of, most of, the, most of the skills like Kenshin. Uh, not the Musou, though. No, the Musou was different, but it wasn't fun, though. It's just like a... I don't know, she just summoned like a block of ice during her Musou, I think. She was basically a, a weak version of Kenshin. Matsu in uh, Basara 1. I know, it's weird. It's very weird. You guys will probably won't believe it when you see it. How weird it was, Matsu Basara 1. See, it was basically this. this that was basically Matsu's Musou. This block of ice. Yeah, I know it was lame. It was a bit lame in Fire Matsu in Basara 1. I don't know why she was made playable. I mean, I don't complain, but still, if they made, it, if they made their pelvic call, at least they not make her a clone of Kenshin. But again, Kazuka was also a clone of Sasuke, but which I prefer that way, to be honest. I prefer Kazuka to be a clone of Sasuke. She was fun to use. She was more broken, really, as a clone of, of, of Sasuke. In my opinion, at least. Kenshin against the guinea pig. <laughs> Who will win? Kenshin or my guinea pig? There we go. Go, oh, my trusty guinea pig. <laughs> he has a name as well. Mushrooms. I'm not going to lie, but um before I never liked mushrooms. No, I sort of started to like them. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. I started to like mushrooms all of a sudden. Only recently though. I mean they're good. They're good. If made properly, they're, they're very good. おもいも<笑> 
All right. Masamuna, what we're going to collect, you know, shoe. Hmm, I don't know. So we got rice and mushrooms now. I don't know what, what we're going to collect. Let's find out. <laughs> it's fun though, it's very funny. It's just a change, I mean, come on. It's relaxing. It's a relaxing story. Collecting ingredients. I mean, I mean, we had uh, some serious stories, some intense stories, uh, some sad stories, some fun stories, and we get uh, a, a, like, like a very funny story, like like Matsu. I mean, it's a good change, guys. It's a very good change, I must say. I'm glad they made Matsu like this, Matsu story like this, because. It's a big change, you know, after all this, that blo the bloodshed we've been going through with so many characters, Keiji, sad story with the Yoshi, uh, Ambe that was about to die, Yoshihiro, serious fight with Tarakatsu, uh, the reality between Masamune and Yukimura, then uh, fucking annoying Zavi, you know, We've been going through a lot, we really have, honestly. So, Matsu is just a... It's, it's a good way for me to finish the game. We must into shit, because I know their stories are relaxing. I know that. So, I am... I'm very glad. I'm very glad that their stories are, in fact, a big change. I'm really... I'm really happy. Oh, I'm very, very happy, honestly. It's good. It's a good change, really. So I'm glad I can, I can relax, honestly. I'm really happy. Speaking of relaxing, uh, yeah, no, just checking the time. I'll probably go to the, to the cafe and uh, play some nasty words later. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, I do play Dynasty Warriors Volume 2 on my PSP in the cafe. You guys wondering, what the fuck, why are you doing in the cafe? I don't know, I just find it relaxing, okay? Don't ask me why. I don't know, honestly, I do find it awesome. The fact that, the, the idea um, of just relaxing, going to the cafe, drinking your coffee, and playing, and playing a video game. I find that super relaxing, I don't know why. It's just fun, really, and it's something that I've been doing recently, and I've been loving it since. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I mean, it was supposed to be my day off from recording, so... I think it's just right for me to do that. Because I'm recording this episode, uh... After, you know, I'm recording this episode... Um... After I finish, I finish Keiji's story. I don't know, I usually just record two, three videos a day. Before I used to record way more than that. Like ten. But only when I was doing the rare weapons of Dynasty Warriors 3. That's when I used to record like ten videos a day. I mean, it can be tedious, finish uh, so many stories in one uh, day. I mean, especially while recording. Because, I mean, recording is tiring in the end, really. I don't think recording is easy. It is tiring. It, do it, it, it doesn't look, but it, it is, trust me. Because you need to stay sitting there uh, thinking what to say and, and uh, you know, trying to be enter entertaining. Uh, it's tough, it's tough. But I don't even try to be funny, really. I mean, if I'm funny, well, I'm like, seriously, you find me funny? I personally don't find myself funny at all. <laughs> I don't find I don't find myself funny at all. I'm sorry. I don't even try to make jokes because I know I'm bad at it. No, I'm really not uh, good at jokes, so I don't try. This is why I personally don't uh, don't don't like people who who make jo jokes when they're bad at it. They try so hard to make jokes, but if you if you're if you're bad, please don't. Don't try. It's like when I was watching some new some videos on YouTube before. Uh, so it was basically I don't know. I was basically watching some videos uh, uh, of Harry Potter uh, PS2 games. You know the Red Red Harry Potter games. 
uh, people who cover that. And I was literally watching the some videos of this guy who was basically trying to be funny. He wasn't. I'm sorry, but you, you're not funny. You're just annoying. When somebody's trying to be funny, but it's not, it's just annoying to me. Please don't. I, I personally, I'd rather you be serious than you try to be funny. Well, you're not funny. Stop it. You're not funny, okay? You're not funny. Like, stop it. I just, okay. You're literally covering one of my very favorite games, which is basically the whole games from Harry Potter. But then you are trying to make jokes that are not funny. Or you just trying to be entertaining with. You're not. I'm sorry. Please stop it. Just make a serious video at this point. It might be more for you. Or maybe it's just me, just my personal taste in videos, really. Other people might find it funny, but I personally can't find it, uh, that guy funny at all, really. I hate it, it just it makes me annoyed, like, it gives me the idea that you're just, uh, you're try hard, really. I hate try hards, honestly. You want attention so bad. Trust me, being funny is not the only way to be entertaining. This is something that I will always say. There are other, many other ways to be entertaining besides being funny. Trust me. Because really, being entertaining doesn't mean being funny. So this is something people don't really understand that. Really, but some people really think that entertaining equal to funny. No, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean just because you need to be entertained, you have to be funny. You can be entertaining in other ways, not just trying to be funny. Don't try to be funny if you can't be. I can I'm not trying to be funny. Really. Because I know I know I know I'm not able to I know I don't have the skills to, to make jokes. I knew that. I never did, I never had. This is what probably made uh uh what made me uh what can I say? Uh what gave me a hard time with girls. I won't even deny it. Uh I will, I will be completely honest. I have the look, but I don't have the personality to... to uh... Okay. He says, okay. 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 Like, I don't really have the, uh, the, the, the skill to entertain girls with jokes. Because I can't, really. Oh wow! Oh, Kirsten says he's low guru. Low. Yeah, what can I say? I mean, based on from many girls, say I mean, uh, I can't help, but might as well accept the fact because I mean, I don't go on about my my, my real look really, but it never disappointed any girl. Let's just say that it, ne it was never disappointed. So. I just say that. The problem, my problem, the only problem is that I can't, uh, um, I can't make jokes and I can't make a girl laugh that well. I can only make a girl laugh by being retarded and dumb as fuck. That's the only, that's the only way I can, but not by making jokes. So, because I know girls, will, I, need, I need a guy that makes me laugh. I need a guy that makes me laugh. If you want there's a guy that makes you laugh, I don't know. You need to date a comic, like an like a. I don't know, did a comic or something. Don't, 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 did a comic, trust me. Or somebody who talks a lot, because I don't talk too much. So, hey, if a girl, if, guys, if a girl pretends that always uh, demands that you need to make her laugh, but you can't, just tell her, date a comic at this point, because I can't make you laugh. I have other things that can entertain you. <laughs> We got veg. We got nice fresh veg. Be like Saki. Find a girl like Saki. Like she doesn't care if, if you. She doesn't really care if you're funny or not. She just wants you to be a good boy. That's all she wants. Alright, fellow words, so I guess this is everything for now, and I'll catch you guys soon to the next episode. As always, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys soon to the next episode. So, as always, uh, maybe consider becoming a member of my channel if you want to watch video previews. You can be a Coffee Time member, which you can watch uh, exclusive, like, uh, my videos before everybody else. Or Musa member, Ultimate member, if you want to watch exclusive let's play where you will get three videos a week and 
there will be exclusive Let's Play only for members. So thanks again, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.